Uh, I wonder how much these cost back in the day. We're always interested in, in the costs of these things. So what I got here is a copy of, let's get it on here, Amateur Cine World. And look, they've got an advert right here for the Bolex. It says, change to Bolex this year. So uh, I think even, I think Doris Day was a spokesperson for Bolex. So um, Wallace Heaton, I know this isn't with the blue book prices, but Wallace Heaton was selling these new for, look at that, 54 pounds, 18 shillings and tuppence. tuppence. Why do they put 2p on the, on the end of that? I do not know. Now pounds, shillings and pence. I'm sorry, Americans. But uh, we're going we're gonna to talk English money for a second here. This is the old money when uh, we had pounds, shillings, and pence. Luckily, there's a website. Of course, there's a website uh, called Measuring Worth. Very handy. You just enter the year and the amount, and it tells you how much that is in today's money. And I've done it for you. Uh, 54 pounds, 18 shillings, and tuppence in 2020. Get this, 1,292 pounds for that, for that Bolex B8. 1,292, but that's the equivalent to how much these things cost, which is mental. I mean, not mental, but it's just, it's just it, it, it makes you think, doesn't it? I mean, I've got it for 18 quid. And uh, these were, these were high-end high machines. You were supposed to have them for life, basically. Once you got yourself a Bolex, I think that was the uh, that was the idea. Was uh, that that was that was going to last you for life? And to be honest, I think a lot of the people who bought these things are now dead. So, uh, yeah, it, it did last them for life. And then there, uh, here's another one here. And then their uh, their heirs went and put it on um, put it on the uh, uh, on the uh, on the eBay. What's this? Payard Bodex 8mm B8 VS variable shutter. That's a lot like mine. £74, 15 shillings and zero pence. My God. £74 in 1961. You could have the Beatles playing in your bloody living room every night for a month for £74, 15 shillings and zero pence. But of course, then you wouldn't be able to film them because you've spent all your money on the Beatles and, and, and not, on a, uh, not on a Bolex. What would I rather have now? Would I rather have one of these Bolexes or, or have Ringo and Paul come round and... Okay, I'd have Ringo and Paul, but, but you know, I'd film them with my phone, of course. But uh, that's, that just gives you an idea of, how, of, of, of what, what was worth what back in the day, amateur cine world. I've got a few copies of, this, uh, of, these, uh, of these magazines. So maybe I'll, I'll send some out to, the, uh, to my to my lovely viewers. Talking of lovely viewers, let's see what's going on in the chat here. Um, Benjamin Marriott says, gorgeous mechanism. The man with the golden sextant, yes. Oh look, Elizabeth Rettenbender. This is the, this is the one the ancient Egyptians are carrying in the carvings. They look like handbags, but I bet they were age 16. You know what, Elizabeth? I believe that time travel will exist one day and the proof is already all around us i'm talking about like uh the 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 incas they someone did i remember seeing on arthur c Clarke's mysterious world that they dug up what looked like a uh a a, a, a a sculpture of a of a of a delta wing fighter jet uh in the um uh inca ruins which was like five thousand years old but um uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> and, and also there's a picture of a guy in the, in the 40s, and he looks just like me. I'll, I'll, find, I'll dig it out. So at some point, I think not only do they uh, invent time machines, but people will be taking their Bolexes back in time and, uh, and, and, and taking pictures. Yes, that's right. Found the time travelers. Bolex accessories. Look at these. The new 8mm zoom lens with reflex viewfinder. How much do they want for that? 90 pounds, 16 and 4. Let's see how much 90 pounds, 16 and 4 is in 1958. Ah, uh, you bear with me. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> None of us are. We're all locked in. Oh, no, 1984. 1954. 
uh, 90, 16, and 4. So, 90, get ready. Hold on to your hats. This is, this is not going to be cheap. 16 and 4 pence. Desired year. Let's try 20. Well, I'll do 2020 because I don't think figures exist yet for 2020. So, here we go. 2,505 pounds for one of these. I mean, we're talking like DSLR prices for these things back in the day. Oh, how exciting. And uh, oh yeah, the H16, uh, the H16 is even more. The H16, that's the uh, the 16 mil, um, was 102 pounds, 15 shillings and five pence, which comes to 2,419 pounds in today's money. So you, when you borrowed the family camera, you know, you didn't, you didn't mess around. Let's see how much they're, <laughs> they're worth now. So this is the Bolex B8. You can pick one up for $16.99. And it comes with a case and a booklet. Uh, $21.99 for this one. That's a BAL. Um, oh, look, the handle, $18.99. Like I said, the handles are exp as, as expensive as the, as the cameras. $19.99 now. They're not expensive. You could just buy one of these and play with it, for God's sake. You don't even have to put film through it. Though, you know, you're talking like another, another the same price again for the for a roll of film and even more for the um for the uh um for the developing of the film if you don't do it yourself like me. Mm -hmm.